What the heck and welcome to Cusco. I've been Cusco in Peru and over the next five days we are going to adventure this land and do as many amazing things as possible. I landed from Lima, Peru and my head is already hurting a little bit just from this altitude. So that will be interesting. I'll keep you updated, but let's get into the video. Mark is back in the game. Daniel's around. Woo. We got Kevin. And finally, oh, let me try that again. And the queen herself, <laughs> Katy. What a crew. The usual price to Sacred Valley, where we're going, is 60 soles. But there is a protest happening right now. So you have to go around, which costs more. And we have five people, so we need to take a big van. I advise you to walk out the airport because the airport taxis are going to be way more than the ones on the street. Blocked. Blocked. Blocked for eternity. There are blockages all over the highway because apparently the locals are protesting something. Anyway, we can't get through to Sacred Valley where we've booked a hotel for two nights, which is really frustrating. Now we're deciding if we just go by foot because no cars can get through. So we're going to see how long it is to walk. Is four hours. Oh, that's, that's way too Maybe far. Maybe we can make it in three though. Mm. No. We're gonna head back to Cusco and spend the next two days there, and hopefully the whole protest situation sorts itself out. We are ending the day over the beautiful Cusco and I didn't realize how large the city actually is. It goes forever once you get a little bit of height. You can see it's just absolutely stunning. Did you know that Cusco is where they filmed The Emperor's New Groove? <laughs> so, one of my favorite Disney movies. Had to come check it out. Tomorrow, we go to one of the wonders of the world. So I better get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Today is the day. We're leaving the Belmont here in Cusco and we are heading down to Machu Picchu. The Machu Picchu train. Now usually I would love to do the four night Inca trail hike up or down to Machu Picchu, but we don't have the time for that. So we're actually going on the most luxurious option, which is a train, a really, really fancy train that serves you a three course meal and drops you off all the way at the natural wonder. Very different to what I'm used to, but it should be beautiful nonetheless. Cat is excited. Woo. The boys are about to embark on a journey. This feels like Polar Express to me. You just won't realize how luxurious this is until you actually step in here. I instantly feel out of place because it's just so beautiful. It's very nice, yeah. Primera comida means the first meal. So I basically flew it in Spanish. Right, Kathy? Yeah. Uh, what's that mean? Buen good job. Oh, good job. I mean, I knew that. <laughs> I was testing her. Mm. Three and a half hours later, train ride complete. And now it's only uphill to Machu Picchu. If you want, you can bring up some taquitos, some tacos, but no, no burgers, no burgers. Oh, oh burgers. No oh, burgers. Uh-oh. What's this? Uh-oh, that's you. That's not me. That's you. Uh-oh. Look at this. Squid Games, you're dead. And we have made it to Machu Picchu, <laughs> the fifth wonder that I have visited out of the seven. I've still got to go see the Great Wall of China and the Taj Mahal. I 
must admit, it is really, really cool to be here after seeing it a million times on the internet. But what they don't tell you is that there are a lot of rules. I don't know if it was pre-COVID or post-COVID rules, but you can't really walk off track at all without a whistle being blown in your ear. So yeah, oh, I hear one right now. So there you have it, Machu Picchu ticked off the bucket list, which was something I wanted to achieve for a little while now. And it didn't disappoint, it's absolutely breathtaking up here. But now we're gonna make the long journey down to our accommodation in Sacred Valley. Let's go. Welcome to the region of Salkantai, where we are embarking on a beautiful two-day hike. Today we're going to do Lake Hamantai, and tomorrow we're doing Salkantai Pass. So, we're very high up. Right now we're sitting at 3,800 meters high. I'm already out of breath just from vlogging for like 20 seconds. We're staying in these really cool honeycomb tents, which is really sweet, and we're about to go to a really beautiful lake. So, let's see how much the altitude affects us as we embark on this journey. Tired, oh, you're oh, yeah. exhausted. Two, one, go. 120 beats one, per minute. 132. Mark 132. Life is crazy. 170? Yeah. It's now 118, but I've been here for like two, three minutes. Whoa, you're 170, why are you powering? Let's go! All right, for the next minute, we're gonna go as fast as we can to get our heart rate up. 170, Dan was at 170, we gotta get 170. We did it. I'm 168. 176, baby. You win. Almost lightheaded. That was ridiculous. That's... We did it. 4,200 meters high. Look at that bad boy. This deserves a Woo! up getting absolutely incredible mwah, conditions. We're ending the day back at our honeycomb hive. Hey. What do you guys yeah. got here? Cervecitas. Protein bar. Cusqueño cervecitas. Beer. Look at that view. <laughs> oh my word. It is four o'clock in the morning and we are about to hike the other side over a pass. We've still got one kilometer to go to get to 4,600. So how's the boys feeling? When you stop, great. When you walk, <laughs> exhausted. What's crazy about the altitude, which you probably can't, I can't express via video very well. It's like, I'd rather run one kilometer on the flat than walk 100 meters in the altitude. The exhaustion is equivalent. It's so quiet up here. There's not even any wind. Don't leave Jordan alone with his thoughts, it's scary. <laughs> After almost seven hours, look at this. 4,630 Salkantai Trek Pass. And just like that, six hours later, we are back and we just missed out on a torrential downpour. So we got very lucky. I'm actually exhausted. I got a bit of a headache because I ran the last bit and running in this altitude is never a good idea. We did this whole trek adventure with the Nomads. So if you ever are coming to Peru, feel free to book with them. They were absolutely great. Everything ran like clockwork and we loved it. So yeah, and now I'm gonna go home hopefully get home to Australia, settle down and relaunch for 2022. What the heck? Goodbye.